In the past two years, we have been wearing face masks to prevent being infected by the airborne coronavirus. People are desperate in taking off their face masks so that they can breathe fresh air free from airborne virus. Currently, a new technology has been developed which provides a brilliant solution that can make this happen. Whitewash is a permeable coating that contains photocatalyst nanofibers with diameter 1,000 that of the human hair. Harmful gases, airborne bacteria and viruses can infiltrate into the pores or openings of the coatings and adhere to the large surface of these nanofibers. Given the nanofibers are protected by the coating, whitewash can also be repeatedly used in both outdoors or indoors. Upon light harvesting, the photocatalyst nanofibers can generate electrons, which in presence of oxygen and water vapor in air, can produce superoxide and hydroxide radicals. The superoxide and radicals can oxidize harmful gas molecules, such as volatile organic compounds, to harmless gases, carbon dioxide and water vapor. They can also kill bacteria and viruses by oxidation. The composite TCBG photocatalyst nanofibers are made of oxides of titanium, zinc, and bismuth. The zinc and bismuth oxides help to harvest visible light. Otherwise, the titanium dioxide can only harvest UV light, which is rather limited. Furthermore, the TCBG photocatalyst has a graphene core inside the nanofiber to speed up electron transport, which helps to increase photooxidation. The fast electron transport also reduces charge recombination, which is the key weakness of these semiconductor nanofibers. TCBG nanofibers have large surface area for gas, bacteria, virus absorption, which is highly advantageous as absorption is the prerequisite to photooxidation. Each gram of TCBG nanofibers has close to 80 square meters of surface area. TCBG can effectively harvest UV light, visible light, and even infrared energy. Such comprehensive energy harvesting generates large amounts of superoxide and radicals for photooxidation. Whitewash can be coated on different materials, metal, plastic, wood, glass, and practically any surfaces, including flats, and curved surfaces for use in both outdoors or indoors. Photooxidation can overcome shortcomings of conventional titanium dioxide photocatalysts of harvesting only UV light, which is less than 5 to 6% of radiation. The harvest infrared allows whitewash to generate additional superoxides and radicals for breaking down harmful gases and killing airborne microbials more efficiently. Whitewash can be used in a variety of different ways as an environmental and health protection in both indoors or outdoors. For indoor and cabin air purification and disinfection, it breaks down VOCs, kills the bacteria and viruses by photooxidation. For outdoor air purification, it converts nitric oxide to nitrogen dioxide, and subsequent water scrubbing further converts nitrogen dioxide to liquid nitric acid. For outdoor applications, it also breaks down hydrocarbon gases and VOC from emission, reducing smog and irritating gases. Examples for outdoor application in Hong Kong are reducing the VOC and NOx in tunnel bypasses, public transport interchange, and roadside temporary housing. A surface coated with whitewash is hydrophobic. It can be used for water purification, Whitewash breaks down dissolved organics in water by photooxidation. With continuous increase in pollutants and airborne bacteria and viruses due to increasing human activities, we need an effective proven technology such as whitewash to protect us in our daily life. This ensures people to live in a clean and safe environment with less worries from increasing pollution impact and epidemic or pandemic outbreak.